Hello and welcome, dear friends. Welcome to All About Mars Surface. In today's episode, we're going to talk about some amazing new discoveries and interesting facts about Mars. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's begin. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you never miss our upcoming exciting and informative videos. Also, share this video with your friends. Because knowledge grows when it is shared. Today we're diving deep into one of the most mysterious and fascinating sites captured by NASA's rovers on Mars. Look carefully at this rock formation. It might seem like just broken pieces of stone scattered in sand, but in reality, it holds billions of years of Martian history within it. This single image tells a story, a story of ancient winds, forgotten water, and a planet that once may have been alive. Let's begin our journey. The strange layered fragments you see here are not just random rocks. Scientists believe these are pieces of sedimentary layers shaped over millions of years by water and wind erosion. Each flake and shard is like a page in Mars's ancient book, and when we study them, we're reading the story of the planet's evolution. The dark material around them is fine Martian dust mixed with basaltic sand, remnants of volcanic activity that once shaped the entire surface of the red planet. Imagine this place billions of years ago. Instead of the silent desert we see now, this region might have been a shallow lake or a river delta. Flowing water slowly deposited minerals layer upon layer, forming rocks that we now see torn apart by time. The bright central rock, the one that seems smoother and lighter, could be a clue to past mineral activity. It might be gypsum or sulfate, minerals that usually form in the presence of water. That single pale stone could prove that liquid water once existed here, perhaps even long enough to support microbial life. But how did these rocks get their shape? The answer lies in all-in erosion, erosion caused by wind. For millions of years, Martian storms have blasted across the landscape, carving these stones into sharp, angular shards. The wind carried microscopic dust that worked like sandpaper, slicing through the rocks layer by layer. That's why these stones look like they've been peeled, almost like pages of a burnt book, each page telling a different story of climate, pressure, and chemistry. What's fascinating is the pattern of contrast. The dark soil and the bright flakes create a mesmerizing texture that scientists use to study weathering processes. When sunlight hits these surfaces, the temperature difference between the dark sand and light rock can reach extreme levels, causing tiny fractures, expanding and contracting over centuries. This slow process, known as thermal stress weathering, could explain why so many rocks here have split apart into thin sheets. Now, let's zoom out a little. This particular site might be located near Gale Crater or Jezro Crater, both areas explored by NASA's rovers Curiosity and Perseverance. These regions are geological treasure troves. In places like this, every grain of dust Every crack and stone may hold chemical fingerprints, clues to Mars's ancient climate, and possible signs of organic molecules. Scientists study the ratios of elements like sulfur, iron, and silicon inside these rocks to understand if life could have ever existed. But what if these patterns weren't shaped by nature alone? Some scientists have proposed that the repeating flake-like formations resemble fossilized sedimentary ripples, a pattern seen in riverids on Earth. If that's true, it means this region was once covered by running water flowing across a Martian landscape millions of years ago. That changes everything, because where there's water, there's the potential for life. Think about it. Each rock here 
could have once been submerged under Martian water. Perhaps microbial life clung to these surfaces, feeding on minerals. And when the planet's atmosphere thinned and the water evaporated, all that remained were these silent witnesses. These broken pages of stone, preserving the memories of a living planet. Even today, Mars continues to change. Dust storms sweep across its surface, covering and uncovering these ancient rocks. Every year, satellites orbiting Mars capture subtle changes. New layers exposed, new dust trails formed. Mars isn't a dead world. It's sleeping, evolving slowly, whispering stories through its stones. If you look closely at this image, you'll see balance, destruction, and beauty together. The shattered rocks but they've survived billions of years of Martian storms. They remind us of resilience, that even on a lifeless planet, nature still creates art through erosion, time, and patience. As the Perseverance rover continues to collect rock samples, NASA scientists are preparing to bring some of these stones back to Earth. One day, perhaps within this decade, this very type of rock could arrive in a laboratory on our planet. Imagine holding it in your hand, a piece of another world, older than human civilization itself. And maybe when scientists analyze it under a microscope, they'll find something extraordinary. Traces of ancient organic material, fossilized bacteria, or a pattern of minerals that can only form through biological processes. If that happens, this kind of rock could rewrite human history proving that life existed beyond Earth. Until then, we continue to watch, explore, and dream. Each photo like this, each rock, each shadow is a clue in humanity's greatest mystery. Now that we've understood how these rocks formed, let's step deeper into the forces that shape them. Because Mars is not just a planet of stone and dust, it is a planet sculpted by time temperature, and silence. Look closely at the horizon in this region. The landscape appears still, untouched, frozen. But this calmness is deceptive. Mars has one of the most extreme climates in our solar system. Daytime temperatures can rise enough to warm the surface. But when night falls, the planet plunges into cold so deep it could shatter steel. This constant cycle of heating and cooling acts like a silent hammer, a hammer that swings slowly, but never stops. These temperature swings cause the rocks to expand and contract. Over thousands of years, tiny cracks form. Over millions, those cracks deepen, until finally, the rocks break apart into the thin layered fragments we see today.